So, hey, Marsha was asking about how to um, give access to some content without using up, basically without using up a product in Kajabi, because we're all limited, um, depending on your plan, to how many products you want to create. And if you're creating lots of offers and selling lots of stuff, you're going to use up those products really quickly. So I'm going to show you how you can create a password protected page in Kajabi. Um, and so what this means is that somebody has to create an account. They have to get, um, you know, set up a, their email address and a password, and then in order to access this page. Um, so you can require, you can set up a, a checkout page. Sorry, backing up. You'd create the offer, whatever it is, the thing that you're selling, create a checkout page where they create their account and password, and then you would send them an email with this link to um, a page, just a website page that has whatever this content is. So um, again, it's not a great idea if you if you have like a huge course or something, but if it's something that fits just on one um, website page, you can definitely do this. Um, and it's a way to grant uh, to have restricted access without using up a product. So first of all, because this is kind of a new feature, you have to turn it on in labs. If you go to settings, um, let's see, settings in Kajabi, and then go down to labs. So it's a new feature. So you'll have to turn it on. So you go all the way down to this, add website pages, and then just toggle this on. What that means mm -hmm. is that when you go to, um, let's see, when you go to website, pages, it's going to be listed these three columns, website, landing, and pipelines. Before it was just standalone pages and um, pipeline pages, which was like confusing to everyone. So I like that they're doing this now. This new feature doesn't work on landing pages. It only works on your website pages. So one thing to keep in mind, just because it's a website page doesn't mean that anybody can get to it. Um, people can only get to it if you add that navigation to your um, to your navigation menu. So just because we're creating a website page doesn't mean it's gonna be like live and visible for the whole world. Don't worry about that. That's something that you would need to select. Um, I have a bunch of website pages here that like my uh, like store, you know, I don't, I don't need that. So it's not, um, it's, it's not like nobody can get there. I created this demo website page um, and just called it fish class because that's what Marsh is talking about. If you go over to those three dots and click edit details, we will go down to where it says member visibility. Um, we're going to toggle, you're going to toggle this on so only members can view this page. And then remember to save it. So, um, so that's, that's all you do to make that page password protected basically is what we're doing. Now you would create the offer. So you would go to sales, offers, um, create a new offer. Again, I named this fish class. Um, and so you'll notice here included products. There are no products here. This is called a ghost offer. Um, it's when you're taking payment for something, but not granting access to a Kajabi product. So we're creating this ghost offer. Um, I put a $50 price on it. Um, you would just set up like a normal offer. And then what you want to do is add an automation to, um, I would add a, an automation when offer is purchased, then um, either send, just send an email or subscribe them to an email sequence, whichever, you know, works for you. And within that email, you would include the URL to that page. So let's see this, if we go back to that, um, this is our, our website demo fish class page, that copy URL. Um, so we'll say, actually, let's just do it right now. Send an email to the person, um, you know, link to fish class, and then, you know, whatever it is. Oops. Okay, so there's the there's the link. You would add more more text to it than that. We'll just save that for now. Right, so then they're going to get that email, they're going to click on that link, and it's going to take them to that member login page. 
Um, so what was the other thing? Oh, also when you're creating an offer, and I think you should do this with all offers, go to edit checkout. Here's where they're going to actually set up their account information. This is where they're going to create a Kajabi account is in the checkout. So, and I already did this. Um, if you go to no extra contact info, I already checked collect name and password. So, and the default is that it's unchecked. So you should check it, turn it on. Because what this means is that somebody, when they're purchasing the product, they're entering their email address, which it always requires, but then they're gonna create and confirm their password here. So if you don't do this, then Kajabi is gonna send them an email with this you know, auto-generated password, and then they are either gonna remember it, which they won't, or have to go into their account and update that password, which people won't do. So you're gonna get a million emails asking like, what's my password, reset, blah, blah, blah. Avoid all that, have them create the password right here and you will cut down like 100% on, on those, um, those emails. So then we're gonna save it. And then, um, yeah, actually, and then, then that's it. You'll just set up um, a, uh, you can either, you can send them a link directly to this, to this checkout page. They'll create their name and password, they'll pay you, and then they'll get sent that link to a password protected page where they'll be able to, to see whatever you want. Um, and then Marsha had, I know she had some recipes and recordings, so you can put all that on, on that page. Um, you would just create like a video section and um, have a, a call to, your uh, call to action buttons would be to download those those recipes. Um, you can you know make make the page whatever you need it to be. Okay.